Uh-oh, guys. Mikey and JJ's village has been completely destroyed. Come on. We have to build a brand new village for them. Mikey's family, I'm going to build you the poorest village you've ever seen. Come on, JJ's family. I'm going to build you guys the richest village you've ever seen. I was thinking we should start off with some diamond houses like this. I have so many ideas for this village. We're going to have the mud spa. It'll be great. Oh, gosh. This is going to be hard to stop Axie from building her mud spa. But you know what? We really need to start by building the houses that our villagers are going to live in. And I think the outline I have for this diamond house looks pretty good. But it could look even better. Luckily, I have a bunch of really cool diamond block shapes that I can use with all different types of textures. So I can actually make it look like a real Minecraft village house. Just like this. Doesn't this look fancy, Axie? That does look pretty cool. I'm gonna steal all your ideas for my spa. Wait, what? You're making your spa too big though, Axie. Remember, this is supposed to be a fancy village for the rich villagers, not the poor villagers. I know, Udo. It's gonna be great. Trust me. Okay, fine. I guess I'll try to trust Axie. But now that I'm inside the diamond house, I should probably get some fancy beds for these villagers. All I need to do is search bed, and voila! We have a diamond-looking bed. It's not actually made of diamonds. It's made with that warped fungus from the nether, but it still matches the color theme, which makes it perfect. I think I could also grab some other things too, like a very, very fancy chest. Whoa, that almost looks too fancy. Let me see if there's any other fancy chests instead, like this one. That one matches the diamond theme even more. Whoa, there's chests that look like diamonds now? What are they gonna invent next? Flying pigs? Wait, you know flying pigs actually already exist, right, Axie? Wait, really? Where can I get one? Uh, I was just joking. Aw, now I'm sad. Wait, don't be sad, Axie, because you won't be sad when you're sitting inside this diamond house. Look, instead of putting down normal glass for the windows, I'm putting down diamond windows. Check these out. They look like they're made entirely out of diamonds. I mean, how much fancier could it possibly get? That is pretty cool, Wudo. But my mud spa is gonna be cooler. Oh, yeah? Well, will your mud spa have a diamond door? I just gotta look through all these doors and find the perfect one. I don't think there's one made entirely out of diamonds and... Oh, wait. There is. There's a block of diamond door, except this diamond door looks a little bit too blending in. So, how about I just search for a fancier blue door that looks just like diamonds? Like this! That's a nice fancy design, and I think that pretty much makes my village house complete. I think the only thing missing at this point is a fancy painting by some sort of famous painter that'll probably make the house worth trillions and trillions of dollars. All I gotta do is place these blocks right over here to get the perfect size painting, just like this. Now I can go over here and voila, we have some beautiful paintings inside of this amazing village house. Axie, what do you think about my diamond house? Doesn't it look amazing for the first house in the village? I think it's pretty cool. I'm just gonna add the finishing touches. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, what is that, Axie? I don't want any dirty finishing touches. That's a bunch of mud, silly. It is. Well, I'm almost done with my mud spa, at least. Axie's amazing mud spa. Ooh, wait. I have to say, Axie, for an axolotl that usually likes to mess with mud all the time, this is quite the fancy spa you have. That's because this is the rich village mud spa. I can easily make one just by putting some dirt on the floor, but I want it to be fancy. Yeah, Axie, let's stick with the fancy part. I don't want you 
building anything too dirty, silly. But now that our diamond house is complete, what I can do is grab my trusty wand just like this and make a ton of copies of it, just like a real village. Cool. So you're going to put them everywhere for the villagers? Exactly, Axie. So let me just copy this. And now I can pretty much make a diamond house neighborhood. All I have to do is slash slash paste. And look, now there's two diamond house neighbors. Whoa. Can I move in next, Woodle? Oh, of course, Axie. But I was actually thinking that we could have our own giant mansions in this rich village. There's so many rich things I want to build. This is just the start, Axie. Okay, I'm going to come help you as soon as I'm done in a few seconds. All right, Axie. And while you do that, I'm actually going to need to flatten the area of our village, too. Right now, the terrain is way too rugged for us to build on. And I don't want our rich villagers to have to deal with so much of this rugged terrain walking up and down these little hills. So if I flatten them out, the villagers will get really happy. And that means there'll be a lot more room for us to make our rich village houses. That sounds good. And boom, Axie, check it out. I just finished clearing out this huge area for the rest of our village. We only have like 1% built so far. So come on, I'm just going to paste down a couple more houses, okay? Okay, I'm going to work on connecting them all with roads. Oh, what? You're building roads, Axie? Now that is a rich village feature if I've ever seen one. I'm sure that Mongo definitely doesn't have any roads in his. Yeah, and that's why our village is going to be much better. Oh, that's totally right, Axie. Look at this. I just put down another village house, and I'm going to put down some more over here. And I think I can fit one more road right over here. Now, how does this look, Axie? Is this what you call the ultimate rich village? I'm sure Mikey and JJ will be so happy. Whoa, they're all lined up so neatly next to each other. Exactly, Axie. And because this is the rich village, we're only gonna have a couple of houses to keep things VIP. But now that I'm done building these houses, we still need some village stuff, like a black blacksmith, for example, except it's not going to be any normal blacksmith. This is going to be the ultra mega VIP blacksmith where all the members of the village can go and smelt their ores. Whoa, how do you make a blacksmith an ultra mega VIP blacksmith? Well, Axie, if you want to come to this village, you got to be really, really rich. So that must mean you mine a lot of diamonds. So in order to make this blacksmith, I'm just going to place down all these super fancy diamond blocks. And then I'm going to have a bunch of furnaces on display, except they're not going to be any normal furnaces. You see, they're going to be the VIP blast furnaces, which are super, super good at smelting ores incredibly fast. Whoa, that's so cool. I know, Axie. It's just one of the greatest great features that will be inside our rich village. So in order to finish the blacksmith, I just need to put some diamond blocks right over here. And now the shape is starting to get formed really well. It looks just like a normal blacksmith, except the fact that it's super cool, of course. Woodle, can I come to the ultra mega VIP blacksmith too? Of course you can, Axie. As long as you have diamond ores to smelt, you are welcome to come and get your ore smelted. Yay! I can't wait to blow up everything. Wait, what? Did I just hear that you want to blow up everything, Axie? Well, it's just that when I go to the blacksmith, usually it's really loud and there's ore everywhere and sometimes there's a lot of TNT and things go boom. Wait, what? Please do not blow it up, okay, Axie? Should I trust you with even going near this thing? Yes, Wudo. I'll be super careful. I'll only make like one explosion. Um, okay. Well, 
Let's try to make that zero explosions. Okay, Axie. I think what I'll do as well is put some glass over here just so I can watch what's going on inside. And luckily, this mosaic glass looks really, really fancy. So it'll be perfect for blending in. Now, I think that this blacksmith is pretty much complete. You go inside, you smelt all your ores, and then you can put all the rest of your ores inside of this gorgeous chest and you don't have to worry about anyone stealing your diamonds inside of this village because everyone's already rich right axie yeah that's definitely how it works but i'm not gonna lie i'm getting a bit hungry after placing down all these houses and stuff axie i don't know about you but i think we need to build a bakery in our rich village right over here across from the houses so that we can get a ton of baked goodies like cakes cookies and any other dessert possible <gasps> That sounds so good. I want to eat all of it. Why don't you help me build this bakery then, Axie? It's got to be one of the biggest houses we build in this village. Because after all, we want to give all of our villagers plenty of sweets to eat. Okay, Wudo. I'm basically done putting these flowers in the lawn. So I'll come help you. Let's go. Come on, Axie. I can't wait to build this bakery with you. It's not just going to be a bakery. It's going to be a whole production line, which means that we're going to have so many cakes to sell. Can we sell mud cakes, please? Ooh, Axie, we could sell literally any cake you want in Minecraft. That's how exclusive this bakery is going to be. Whoa, really? Yep. Now, come on. If we're going to build it, I'm going to need to make two separate locations for our villagers to come dine. They can either come over here here outside in this patio area and get some delicious baked goods to go or what they could do is they could go inside the bakery and take them to go i want to take them to go so that i can sit in my mud spot and eat some cake Ooh, that's a good idea too axie that sounds like the ultimate vip experience so let me just finish building out this patio real quick for the villagers that do want to sit outside and now that that's done i can build a little counter over here and then the front door entrance will be right over this way now let me just get another fancy door like this golden one right over here and now you can go inside except that this bakery is looking a little bit empty it could use some more fancy blocks for the floor so how about i replace the floor with some of these shuttered diamond blocks Locks, which look like tiles, which means that it's super fancy. These look like they cost $10 million. Oh, yeah, Axie. I don't even want to know how much this video is going to cost. I feel like Mr. Beast with how much money I'm spending. Who is Mr. Beast? Is he a pig? No, silly. He's a really, really rich guy. But don't worry about him, Axie. We need to worry about the customers that will come inside this bakery and i think that i'm pretty much done with the exterior the only thing i need to do now is build a little roof so axie can you help me with that okay all i gotta do is grab some dirt from the ground and then i can fill in the roof wait what no 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 axie do not ever touch dirt inside this diamond village remember this is only for the richest of the riches which means we can't have any dirt silly Whatever you say, Wudo, but I still think dirt is pretty great. Oh, it is, Axie. If you're in Mongo's build, that is. <laughs> I bet his build is so muddy and dirty right now. Come on, Axie. Help me build this roof. And while you do that, I'm going to go inside the bakery area, and I'm going to start placing down the tools that we need to bake these cakes. Okay, Wudo. I'm just finishing this row real quick. Ooh, Axie's almost done with this row. Road. That's going to be so awesome to connect all the houses together. But now, let me just go in here and start grabbing those furnaces. Except these aren't going to be any furnaces like the ones you get your ores in. These are going to be professional stoves. As you can see, they're hot and ready to bake some delicious cakes. So I'm just going to 
place a bunch of them right over here. And then what I can do is I can grab this kitchen hood and put these on top to make sure that our guests do not smell any smoke that would come from the baking experience. What? But smoke is part of the baking experience, Rudo. I know, Axie. But because our guests are VIPs, I would much rather not have them take any smoke to the face. Okay? All right. I guess that makes sense. Anyways, now that that's all done, what I can do is start placing down some counters. And we have a couple of options. I think this marble counter looks the fanciest. So I'm going to go ahead and place a couple of these. Then what I can do is I can search cabinet and I can place a couple of cabinets on the top as well. I'm going to try a couple of options here to find the fanciest one. Let's see. We got these options over here and eh, you know what? I think this warped half cabinet looks the best. So I'm just going to put those all along the top. And now we have plenty of counter space and plenty of ways to cook our food. But now that that's all done, I'm also going to need some other appliances, like a refrigerator, in order to store all of our ingredients that we need. Oh, a refrigerator? Can I eat it? Well, not exactly, silly. A refrigerator is a place where you store the stuff that you're going to use to cook. So I wouldn't really try to eat it, silly. Oh, it sounded tasty. Well, what is tasty is going to be be inside those fridges, Axie. All the ingredients that you need. Wait, really? Even to make mud cake? Oh, everything, Axie. Come on. You know I wouldn't lie to you. Well, I feel like you lie to me when you don't want me to build mud spas everywhere. Well, no, Axie. That's only if you make a huge mess. But I'm fine with the mud spa this one time. Anyways, let me just put down all this dough over here. And then I I can get a bunch of eggs too because eggs are really really important in order to make cake so i'll put some big eggs over there and then i'll also grab some milk luckily there's cartons of milk that we can use so now we have all the ingredients for cake except the very last thing which is sugar and luckily i've got a lot of sugar enough for these giant cubes so i'll just store the giant cubes of sugar sugar right over here. Nom, 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 they're delicious. What, what, Axie? You can't eat the sugar. Now you're going to have way too much energy, silly. Wudo, I have so much energy, like you said, and I think it's time to build my rich house. Oh, gosh, Axie. You know what? I better go lock the sugar away in a vault underground. Here we go. I'll just build something simple like this. Surround the entire edge with diamond blocks. And then I'll just fill it all with sugar cubes. Just like this in a place where Axie cannot reach them because she cannot be trusted with that much sugar. What are you talking about, Ludo? It's great. You should let me eat that much sugar every day. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Axie, there's a reason why I don't let you have that much sugar every day. Anyways, let me just put these trap doors over here. And now we have a way to go get our sugar down there. But let's not worry about that. What we need to worry about is where we're going to put our cakes after they're done. So I'm going to grab some really fancy tables. There's a ton of options I can choose. So let's try all of them. I'll just grab these real quick. And and let's see, what's the fanciest table? There's an Egyptian one, an antique one. Hmm, are there any diamond tables that I can use or something that kind of looks like diamonds? Uh, I'm not exactly finding it over here, but what I can use is this warped table and I'll put it in the middle over here, just like this. And this is where we're gonna put down all of our delicious cakes when they're done being baked. Did you say cake, Woodo? Yep, you heard me right, Axie. I did say cake. Can I come eat the cakes? Um, well, not right now, okay? They're for our villager guests, remember, silly? But no one likes the villager guests, Woodo. I think you should let me eat all of them.
am. Wait, what? What do you mean no one likes our villager guests? The whole point is that we're trying to feed our rich villagers. No, the whole point is that we're rebuilding Mikey and JJ's ruined village. Oh, gosh, Axie. Are you just trying to get cake out of me? Maybe. Oh, Axie, don't try to do that. I'm too smart for your tricks, silly. Okay, fine. I'm just going to concentrate on building my rich, fancy house. Oh, okay, Axie. I better go check in on her to make sure it's not too fancy or weird. But let me just finish off this bakery. To finish it off, I just need to go in here and grab these windows windows so that i can give the villagers an opportunity to talk through it and then i'll put another fancy window over here and i'll put another fancy window on this side and look there's a view of axie's house it looks pretty fancy to me so i have no complaints about that now let me just go ahead and put this glass right over here as well and i think this pretty much marks the completion of this bakery axie i think our big is officially open the only thing that i need to do is grab a tiny little stool that i can put right in front of our little seating area outside and i think these tiny stools over here should be perfect does that mean it's time for me to come eat cake well axie if you really want to come eat cake then yes you can come eat cake i'll be right over wait no Oh, let's distract her before she gets over here. Um, Axie, look at your house. It looks so fancy. Yeah, I know. I am pretty amazing at building. Well, Axie, you know what would be great right in front of your house that you could go to every single day? Another bakery? No, silly. I think that you need to go to school. Any village needs a school because it's really important that all the rich villagers get the education they need so i'm gonna build the village school right next to the bakery so that after school the villager kids can go eat some delicious sweets because they did a really good job in class wait i've never been to school before wudo can you teach me how to go to school well you've been to school before axie it was just axolotl school and let's just say that axolotls don't exactly do school like us turtles or mongo do yeah you mostly learn how to eat cake and stuff well yeah inside of axolotl school you do but in normal school you read a bunch of books you learn math and science all sorts of cool stuff honestly so how about i put these really fancy diamond doors as the entrance of my school and now i can put these big windows over here so that the students can look outside and admire how beautiful this rich village is, Axie. It is pretty beautiful. I wonder how Mongo's doing. Oh, yeah, me too. His village probably is super duper stinky and smelly. I wouldn't want to live inside of Mongo's village. Yeah, it probably has pigs and dirt and... Wait, maybe I would rather live in Mongo's village. Wait, what? But Axie, we were already working so hard together. I'm almost done building in the exterior of my school you wouldn't leave me would you no Ludo, i'm not gonna leave you even though i think mongo's village is probably pretty cool yeah but you only like it because it has mud and stuff faxy we have the same thing in our mud spa remember yeah but it's like one pile of mud when you can have like 20 piles of mud <sighs> Okay, fine, Axie. Maybe we'll have to look a little bit deeper into upgrading your mud spa. Yes! But first things first, we have to finish this school. Otherwise, the villagers will have no one to even work at the mud spa because the mud spa employees need to be very, very smart to deal with all the customers and all the money that your mud spa is gonna make, Axie. It is gonna make a ton of money. Anyways, now that I'm done with the outside of the school, Axie, it's time to work on the inside and to switch things up this time around. I think that these quartz blocks would be the perfect 
thing that we could use inside the floor of our school. That looks pretty fancy schmancy if you ask me. You're just copying my mud spa now, Woodle. Wait, what? What are you talking about? No, I'm not. I made my mud spa out of quartz first, so you're copying me. Okay, okay, Axie. Sure, sure, whatever. I'm copying you. But I bet you couldn't copy down my math problems over here. Quick, Axie, what's five plus three? Everyone commented down below. It's obviously two, Woodle. That's so easy. What? Did you just say the answer is two? Yeah, what else would it be? Are you serious, Axie? The answer of five plus three isn't two. It's like seven or something. Uh, Ludo, I don't think you know any more math than me. Um, yeah, I do. Is that correct, guys? I have no idea. I didn't really pay attention in class. Okay, so we're all bad at math. Well, don't worry, Axie. That's why I'm building a school after all. Who's gonna teach us to be better at math if we're both bad? Oh, yeah. That's gonna be a little bit of a problem. Eh, you know what, Axie? I'm sure that someone in this village will be happy to teach the whole village about math. I know it's not gonna be us, though. I hope so. Well, you don't have to worry about much else, Axie, because I'm starting to put down the tables for our students. And our students are going to have quite the fancy tables for their use. And they're going to be able to sit right in front of the teacher to make sure they're listening in class. Whoa, that sounds great. And while you do that, I'm making my axolotl. I'm making my axolotl head on my hat. Axolotl head? Wait, what? Why are you making an axolotl head? Because I'm an axolotl, obviously. Oh, okay. That makes a lot more sense, Axie. You should have started with that, silly. You know that I'm an axolotl, Woodle. Stop pretending to be stupid. <laughs> okay, fine, Axie. Well, I can say that I'm almost done with this classroom. I just need to go ahead and put the teacher's desk, and then I can put down some more chairs right over here and then i can have a toilet in the back so that the students can use the bathroom can i use the toilet too um well you see axie the problem is if you use the toilet you're gonna stink the place up and i don't know if the students will be too happy about that hey i'm not that stinky you and mongo are way stinkier hey don't talk about us like that axie i know it gets a little bit stinky sometimes, but I'm trying my best. That doesn't mean it's not stinky. Oh gosh, this is bad. I gotta change the topic quick. Axie, guess what? I'm putting down some fancy bookshelves for this new school. Uh, do you read books? No. How do you read? Um, I don't know. You look at the letters and they talk to you, basically. Wait, what? And I definitely don't read. Oh gosh, that's bad news then. How do I tell Axie that she's never gonna be good at school? if she can't read. Woodle, I'm going to be really good at school, right? Um, sure, Axie. You'll be kind of good at school. Uh, at least I hope so. Yay! Uh-oh, I don't know if that's too good. But whatever, as long as Axie's happy. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and make this entire back wall out of books so that the students have plenty of reading that they can do while they're chilling inside their house and their parents want them to do homework and i think that pretty much completes it all i need to do now axie is get some books for all the students in this class and i'm even gonna give them fancy typewriters isn't that super cool whoa but aren't typewriters like 20 million years old well yeah kind of but these students don't need anything fancier than that trust me they're just gonna need to read books and they'll get smart that way but I think, Axie, this wraps up the entire school. I'm really happy with how it came out. All I need to do now is just put a road up to it and voila, the school is finished. And I'm sure the villagers will be really happy. And whoa, Axie, your axolotl house looks so awesome. I know, Wudo. Do you like the top of it? Yeah, it has your axolotl ears. It looks just like you. If you transform transformed into a house all of a sudden, that is. I could transform into a house. 
Oh gosh, you know what? I don't think I'd want to see that, Axie. But what I do want to see is possibly the most important house in this entire village. Do you know the one thing that villages have, Axie, that houses the most important person in the village? Um, the toilet? No, silly. This house is going to be the mayor's house. And do you know who the mayor of our village is going to be? Probably me. No, silly. You would be a terrible mayor. Don't even ask me why. The actual mayors of this house are going to be Mikey and JJ. They're going to help us make the best decisions. So their house needs to be really, really big. All the way like this. Wait, I want to be the mayor. Okay, fine, Axie. That's why I made this house really huge. Because not only is it going to house Mikey and JJ, rooms but it's also going to house our rooms so i need as much space as we can get and i'm going to use my special wand tool to help me build it so that i don't have to sit here and place all these hundreds of diamond blocks at once but ludo i already have my own house because i'm really cool oh yeah i forgot we have a giant axolotl house and eh, you know what it's fine i guess i'll make mongo a house he probably needs the donation because his house is gonna look so trash exactly anyways now that this is all done i can start working on the floor plan i wonder what fancy blocks i should use let's go ahead and search all of our unique colors for jj's house his floor needs to be red so let's go take a look at all the red blocks i have in creative mode and it looks like there's some really really fancy wool that i can use so i'm gonna go ahead and use that then i can do the same thing for mikey i can go ahead and search lime and i can get another really cool wool combination for him too this quilted wool looks really really sick so i'm gonna go ahead and use that and now that that's all done i can work on the rooms i'm gonna go ahead ahead and make this back area for the rooms so jj's room is going to be on the very left and it's going to be right over here all i need to do is just outline it with red blocks and make sure that it's completely centered so that mikey and jj both have even sized rooms now that that's all done i can go ahead and put the green room like this and check this out axi now mikey and jj both have big rooms whoa Oh, let me come see. I just finished with my house. Oh, really? That's sick, Axie. Check this out. Now, Mikey has a room and JJ has a room. But me and Mongo also need rooms as well. I think for my room, I want to have a diamond floor. That would be pretty cool, Wudo. But you know, most of the village has a diamond floor. You need a super cool special diamond floor. Oh, you're right, Axie. Let's see. I think I want to do this one. It's actually called chisel diamond ore. Basically, they take the diamond ore and chisel it out, making it super duper fancy. So how about I just do that? And then I can put my room right over here, kind of by the entrance. Oh, this floor is so cool. It makes me want to eat it. Well, don't eat it, silly. It does look quite fancy, but it definitely wouldn't sit well in your stomach. Anyways, now that that's done, I can work on my Mongo's room, and I know what floor would be best for him. Coarse dirt! While you do that, I'm gonna make a statue of JJ and Mikey. Oh, that would be such a good idea, Axie. I'm sure Mikey and JJ would be really happy to see a statue of themselves right in the middle of the village, because after all, this is going to be their village. It's gonna be beautiful. Don't worry. Awesome, Axie. While you do that, I'm just gonna work on expanding out this a little bit more what i need to do is i need to put some lime wool on the outside of my room just so i remember what it looks like and now that that's all done i can go ahead and start putting down these doors right over here that will separate each of our rooms so that we don't actually stumble into the wrong room that would be kind of embarrassing wouldn't it axie oh yeah that would be terrible although i don't really mind if you guys are there when i'm taking a poop so maybe it's not so bad wait what i don't want to walk in on 
you taking a poop, Axie. I would die of the stench. Hey, I my axe little poop smell like roses. Oh, gosh. The last time someone told me that, it didn't actually smell like roses, Axie. Well, they were lying to you, but I'm not lying to you. Oh, gosh. Whatever. I guess all I need to do now to get away from Axie's stench is work on Mikey and then JJ's room. Let me just put a divider and check this out, Axie. Now, everyone has their own room separated for them, except now I gotta decorate each one. Let's start with Mongo's room. This one should be pretty easy. All I need to do is grab some mud and then some dirt as a pillow and then I can give him a crafting table. And I think that room is done. Yay! Yay! I'm almost done with the statues and they're really beautiful. Oh, they are? Okay, perfect, Axie. I just gotta get a door for Mongo's room real quick. Let me just go ahead and grab this one. There you go. I think that looks nice. Anyways, let's go ahead and work on my room. My room looks really sick with these green and diamond blocks. I'm actually gonna change it to these diamond rubies, which look even fancier. Now that that's all done, let's go ahead and get some other blocks ready for my room. I'm gonna need a very fancy bed. So let's go ahead and take a look at what beds I could possibly get. There's a big gorgeous bed or a small bed. Mm, I don't know which bed to choose, Axie. There's so many options. That does sound like a tough decision, but you got this, Woodle. How about you just go with them sleeping on the floor? Wait, what? I don't want to sleep on the floor, silly. Yeah, you know what? I'm just going to make a huge bed like this. Now that looks good. Now let's see. What else could I put inside my room? I probably need a nice bedside cabinet. So how about I take this blue one and put it on the sides? That looks kind of fancy. Yeah, I'm sure that looks Great. Now, all I need to do is get some storage for my room, too. How about I get a wardrobe over here? And let's take a look at which one would look the nicest. There's a bunch of different options. And I think this one over here looks the fanciest. So I'm going to put this one over here along this side. And then I'm going to put my bathrobe there, too. Now, let's see. What else could I put inside of my room? I probably want a fancy painting so that I can admire how beautiful life is. That fancy painting I just put down is a beautiful sunset and it would match perfectly with the big window that I'm gonna put in the back of my room. Cool, Woodle. I believe in you. Your build is gonna be awesome, but not as awesome as my build. Wait, what? You have an even awesomer build? Oh gosh, in that case, I better finish decorating so I can see. I think the last thing that I wanna do is put some lights down just to emphasize how beautiful my room is. So let me just search fairy lights and now I can put some of these nice little lime ones down. Let's see, where can I put them? I think they should be somewhere near the top of the room. And in order to do that, I gotta finish putting the roof down. So let me just put down some cute little turtle plushies all over the place just like this. And now that that's done, I can go ahead and put the roof so that I can put my fairy lights up. Woodo, when are you gonna to come look at my amazing statues. Axie, is it really going to look like a good statue? Or are you just messing with me? They're beautiful, I swear. Oh, gosh. I think I see them and... Wait, what? Axie, is this supposed to be Mikey and JJ? Doesn't it look like them? Look, this one is obviously JJ. He looks exactly like him. Why does JJ look so small and fat? And why is Mikey like an Enderman? It's just how I see them when I look at them, okay? Oh, gosh. They're gonna blow up their village to look like how their old village looks, Axie. I don't think that's the best idea. It'll be fine. I think they'll just be glad that someone's made a statue of them. Besides, they really do look like that, okay? Okay, Axie. You know what? I guess you can leave the statue there. But if they get mad, I'm not responsible, okay? Okay, you can tell them I I did it, and then I'll kick them out because I'm the mayor. Wait, what? You're not the mayor, Axie. They're gonna be the mayors. No, I'm the 
mayor. Oh, gosh. Okay, whatever. Anyways, now that I'm done with my room, I just need to go ahead and put the front door. And I really, really liked how fancy the other golden doors were. So I'm going to put another door here. Um, Except I have a problem. This door looks like it's locked. I think I'll put the diamond one instead. There we go. Now my room looks awesome. And Mongo's room looks uh kind of good too. Anyways, let's go on to Mikey and JJ's room. The rooms that matter the very most. I want to make sure that they have the best rooms in the entire village. So let me just go ahead and grab a bed and let's grab the fanciest red bed possible. I think I saw the gorgeous bed over here. It's completely red, which means that JJ should love it. And I think I love it too. It looks really, really fancy. Then what I can do is I can put a mini bed too. Let's see. I think it's called a bed roll and boom. Now there's a bed for Mikey, Mikey's wife and Mikey's baby who will sit right over here and go wah. Babies are so annoying. Why do they go wah? Hey, don't say that about JJ's baby. JJ's baby is the cutest baby ever. But now that I'm done with that, I gotta work on some other red decorations. The sun's probably gonna go down soon and if Mikey and JJ don't have a place to stay, then it's gonna be really bad. So let me just grab some candles and other decorations real quick and I'll put them all over. I'll also so grab some other cabinets as well because they're probably gonna need as much storage as they can get because they probably have a lot of stuff Whoa, this bed is so fancy. I know, Axie, but hold on. I just need to search mangrove and check this out. There are so many mangrove items that I can add in here that's going to make their room even better. Now that I got all of them, though, let's start playing with them. I'm going to go ahead and put down these red awnings over here, which give this room a fancy look. Then I can put this towel right next to the sink, and then I can put up some blue lines as well with the window going outwards so that they can choose whether or not they want to bring in some fresh air. That sounds good, Woodo. Can I make Mikey's room? I promise I'll only put like three patches of mud and six pigs. Oh gosh, sure, Axie. I guess because Mikey's a turtle, he'll be a little bit more okay with that stuff. Actually, I don't want to make Mikey's room. I ran out of ideas except for the pigs. Oh, no. Okay, never mind, Axie. You don't need to do it. But what you will do instead is you will sit on this amazing sofa that I'm going to put in JJ's room. This sofa looks so fancy. And all I need to do is just move the baby bed over here and check this out. Now they got a place to relax and chill. And then over here, they still have their bed. But I still think it's missing one important thing. And that's a fancy painting. The fancy paintings are always important important to making sure that your house looks very fancy. So I'll go ahead and put a couple of those up just like this. Cool. You want to see what I did with Mikey's room? Oh gosh, Axie. It kind of scares me when you say that and wait, what? Why are there a bunch of frogs? Because Mikey is a frog, right? No, silly. Mikey's a turtle just like me. I gotta fix this quick before he gets here. You know what? I don't think he's gonna mind too much. Let me just go ahead and place down a couple of beds real quick and then i'll also get a baby bed for him too there we go i think that looks good now come on axie we gotta seal this whole place up before mongo gets here how about you work on filling up the ceiling axie and while you do that i'll quickly make the floors really fancy okay wudo you got it oh wudo are you done oh gosh mongo's already calling for us axie this is bad so i better go over here real quick and finish placing down the floor. Hurry up! All right, all right. Here we go. I'm finishing setting up the floor. And then the last thing I need to do over here is just place down a fancy table for the reception to make sure that nobody weird is coming inside to bother Mikey and JJ. And what I'll do is I'll actually put an iron golem in charge to make sure that they'll be 100% secure. You're still missing windows and a door, though. Quick, Axie. Can you put those down then, please? 
please. Okay, I'm on it. Oh, gosh. This iron golem is trying to fight me right now. Sit back down, Mr. Iron Golem. I got to put these barrier blocks here so that you can't escape. There you go. Now, you're going to be working as a security guard. Thank you. I'm going to put down some super cool stained glass. Oh, those look awesome, Axie. All that I need to do now is just put down a fancy door. What door should I put down? Quick! You should put down a dirt door. No, silly! A dirt door is going to be way too dirty. I think I need to do a fancy door like this. Whoa! Doesn't that look fancy? That is pretty cool. Okay, let's go see Mongo's build. Oh, Mongo, we're ready to see your village and i hope it doesn't look like this blown up one over here no wudo it looks a lot proper than you think i have a giant wall that's around my village uh mongo is this supposed to be your village why is it so poop looking and how are your villagers gonna get out of the village listen guys you don't need to worry about that this village has everything you need as you can see all these villagers are are fighting to go inside of my bedroom because it's the best room in the world. What in the world, Mongo? I literally can't get in. And what's so special about this bedroom? I think the reason why all the villagers are trying to get in is because it's the only bedroom in the whole village. Wait, how did you know, Wudo? Look, this next one over here is a restaurant where this villager is cooking up fish and more fish. Ooh, that actually doesn't look bad. Mongo, and you have some cool green chairs. I actually kind of like that. What is this weird thingy? Uh oh, Axie, don't touch any of the food, especially if it's flying. That looks suspicious. Mongo's breeding weird alien creatures in his dirty village. Come on over here, guys. This is the store where you can buy anything and everything you want. Ooh, a store is a pretty cool idea, but our villagers are so rich that they already own everything in our village well Voodoo, my village is a farming village that's why you see a giant farm over here we like to plant crops and go mining inside of this cave over here to collect resources oh, okay well you know what mongo this actually wasn't too bad of a village at all though it does have a weird stench inside of it come on axie i think it's time that we go show mongo our rich diamond vip village Look at how amazing it looks all the way from back here. Who wouldn't want to live in our diamond village? My house is so beautiful. Wow. All right, Mongo. Let me take you through our houses over here. Whoa, Wudo. This village does look really cool. Here, check this out, Mongo. Every single one of our villagers has a nice diamond village house with a diamond bed and a diamond chest with plenty of windows to see the amazing view outside. Whoa, that's awesome. But what happens when your village gets attacked? You don't have any walls or anything that can defend you. Well, here's the thing, Mongo. We're actually in a beautiful biome where there will be nothing to attack us. Where you build your village is a very dangerous place. So we don't have to worry about any of that stuff. Anyways, now you can come inside the village bakery where we have a bunch of different cakes and stuff that you can eat as well as a whole production production line for baking fresh cakes. Pluto, I found the sugar. Wait, what? No, Axie, get out of there. You weren't supposed to find the sugar. I'm going on a sugar rush. Oh gosh, this isn't good. Come on, Mongo. I better show you the other stuff. Come on down here. This is the village school where all the rich kids will go and learn 7 plus 4. Quick, Mongo. What's 7 plus 4? 7 plus 4 is 11. Oh, wait. You actually got that. Okay. What's 2 plus 2? It's 4. What? No. According to the teacher, the answer is fish, Mongo. You're wrong. Wait, what? This school is dumb. No, it's not. Ugh, whatever. Come on, Axie. How about you show him your house? 
Okay, my house is really beautiful because it's my house and it has cake and it has axolotls. The end. Wow, this house looks awesome, Axie. This is the best house in the village for sure. Also, it has my weird head thingies on top. Yeah, that looks insane. I guess this area over here won't matter as much, but this is the blacksmith, Mongo, where all the villagers go and smelt their diamond doors because we only have diamonds in this village. Boring. We don't care about that, Wudo. We like Axie's house. Look, Wudo, we got our first villager. Yay! Come on, Mr. Piggy. You would love Mongo's room. Come on inside of here, Mongo. These are the VIP apartments where me, you, Mikey, and JJ live. As you can see, this is my very own bedroom. What do you think? Whoa, Wudo, we got our own living space? That's pretty cool. If you come down here, Mongo, you also have your own room. I built it, by the way. Really, Wudo? I'm getting the dirt room. <laughs> Don't you like it, Mongo? Look, this villager seems very happy with it. Maybe I'll just move in here instead of you. Yeah, actually, this is your room instead. Wait, what? No, it's not. Anyways, Mongo, why don't you come over here? This is JJ's room, where he has a nice, big, luxurious bed with a little bed for his baby and a bunch of relaxing spaces for him to chill. Whoa, JJ's room is awesome. But it's not the most awesome. Over over here we have Mikey's room, which is a little bit experimental, but it's still really cool. Frogs! Why are there frogs everywhere? Because Mikey is a frog, obviously, because he is green. No, he's not a frog, silly. He's a turtle, Axie! I already told you this. All right, well, Mongo, you should come look at my beautiful statues. This is the very last thing, Mongo. Don't you love how Mikey and JJ look? Why is Mikey so tall and why is JJ so wide? That's just what they look like, Mongo. I don't know what to tell you. Hey, you look a lot like JJ, Mongo. I know, Wudo, and you look exactly like Mikey. Well, in that case, I think it's safe to say that my rich village was the best one. Thank you guys so much for watching this video if you enjoyed then watch another video on screen and don't forget to subscribe bye, bye.